In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys possibly the most important trick in urban unicycling that most other tricks are based off of. This is an essential trick for anybody who's riding Flatlander Street in unicycling because it is a building block for like 70% of the tricks out there. This is a unicycle tutorial on how to crank flip, aka the equivalent of kickflips in skateboarding. That's how important this trick is. Now, if you don't already know, a crank flip on a unicycle is a trick where you're riding up, taking your feet off the pedals to let the wheel rotate a full revolution on its own. And then you're putting your feet back onto the pedals and riding away all in one hop, all in one jump. <laughs> now I'm gonna be breaking this unicycle tutorial into two parts. The first part being the three prerequisite tricks you should learn. And the second part being how to actually do the crank flip itself. So. Let's hop right into it. Now, you don't have to learn these prerequisite tricks, but it's gonna be very hard to learn the crank flip without knowing how to do these tricks. Now, the first prerequisite trick on this list is the aerial. Now, I covered this trick in a previous video of the top 10 easiest beginner unicycle tricks. This trick is where you're riding up, you're taking your feet off the pedals and then putting them back down onto the pedals and riding away. Now, with the aerial, what you wanna do is you wanna try and just get a little bit off the pedals you know, you want to take your feet off and then slowly make it bigger and bigger until you're finally just like slingshotting your legs out, starfish. <laughs> now, if you're taking the tire up with you and the tire's coming off the ground, that's okay too. Uh, this is technically called a no-footer, but the aerial and no-footer are kind of the same thing and it's probably going to help you even more than the aerial for crank flips. So once you learn aerials, maybe try to do no footers. Now the aerial slash no footer is a really important prerequisite trick to learn for the crank flip because it just gets your head in the game for taking your feet off the pedals and putting them back on. It's basically the crank flip, but without the technique in the snapping of the pedals and all the stuff that I'm about to get to at the end of this video. Now the second prerequisite trick on this list is the rev or the half rev. Now the rev is a unicycle trick where you're riding up, hopping, but you continue to pedal in the air to do a full revolution. Now this is a good trick to learn because it helps you with the idea of moving your feet and applying pressure on the pedals while you're in the air and when you're taking off. Now for me personally, when I was learning how to crank flip, when I went for the crank flip, my idea was kind of like, okay, I'm gonna do a rev, but I'm gonna do it one footed and I'm gonna kind of take my back foot off. Just that mindset and knowing how to rev beforehand helped me kind of figure out the crank flip. And really a half rev would even be okay too, where you're doing a half revolution. It's still the same idea and it still will be good enough for learning how to crank flip. It's just important that you know how to put pressure on the pedals and how to push through the pedal and follow through with it. And to do the rev, you're gonna wanna focus on riding at a moderate to fast speed. This is gonna kind of help you with the momentum when you hop to keep pedaling. When you hop, you wanna ease up on your back foot and with the foot that's facing forward, you're gonna wanna push down and through it and then when it comes around, you're gonna wanna switch that pressure so that you do it with the other foot. And now for the final prerequisite trick that I would highly recommend learning, I'm talking about the zero plant. Now the zero plant is where you're doing a foot plant but you're letting the cranks rotate. So you're basically doing the crank flip, but you're camping on the ground for a little bit with your other foot. For this one, you're gonna ride up at a moderate to fast pace. You're gonna jump off the unicycle while still holding onto it. You're gonna plant your back leg or your back foot on the ground, and you're gonna let the reel rotate once around, and then you're gonna hop back on. Now this one, you can either plant your foot on the flat ground, or you can ride up to the side of a ledge and plant your foot on that ledge. Now most people plant their back foot on the ground when they're going to learn this trick, but I would highly recommend actually learning with both feet. I think it'll just make you more versatile. And also too, it doesn't really matter which foot you use. It's still the same technique and the same idea, just slightly different. Gets you in the zone for having the cranks spinning and then hopping back onto them. And I mean, you can do single flips or double flips or triple flips or however many flips but the idea is just like, you're getting used to jumping on a spinning wheel, which is what you're gonna be doing when you go for the crank flip. Now, if you can't flip the cranks at all, or you're not getting a full revolution on the zero plant, you're gonna wanna listen to part number two here, because I'm about to tell you the technique for actually snapping and rotating the cranks. And now for the second part, learning the crank flip itself. Now the idea and the technique for the crank flip is that you're pushing pressure through both of your feet equally, but upon takeoff, you're releasing that back foot just a slight second before the front foot, 
which gives you that snap for that forward momentum there to spin the wheel. The hardest part about the crank flip is learning how to apply that pressure and then learning how to take your feet off the pedals but just doing it in such a way that your back foot is coming off just before that front foot. For this one, you're gonna wanna focus on trying to press that front foot down and out, sort of on an angle or a bit of a diagonal. You don't really wanna go straight through and you don't really wanna like push it down and then bring your feet up. Uh, you really wanna go kinda down and out or just on a angle like that. The back foot, you're gonna wanna just slide off the back of the unicycle or just quickly throw it out to the side. So you're kicking with this front foot and then you're sliding the back foot out really fast. I'm gonna address some of the common problems that you're probably gonna run into when you're going and trying the crank flip. Now the most common problem that most people run into is they're not flipping the cranks at all. The problem is stemming from not applying the pressure in the right places and not releasing your feet at the right time. So for this one, you might feel like you're applying pressure through the pedals, but what's actually happening is you're pushing on the pedals and then just jumping up with the unicycle. So you're really just kind of lifting your legs up but you're not pushing down and out and trying to straighten those legs when you're going to kick the cranks. And then there's also releasing your feet. If you're applying equal pressure to the pedals, but you're bringing both of your feet off at the same time, you're not gonna flip the cranks. They're just gonna cancel each other out and you're just gonna get this sort of like the static wheel. If your no footers are good and your revs are good, then practicing your zero plants is really gonna help you to get the technique. And this just comes down to trial and error. A technique that really helps with getting the full flip is learning how to snap your cranks. Snapping your cranks is where you're riding up and instead of doing the flip when your feet are parallel with the ground, you're gonna have it so that your front foot is cocked a little bit up and your back foot is a little bit down. So your front foot is pointed 45 degrees up from the flat position. So what this does is it gives you a little bit of leverage to flip the cranks and even if your pressure is equal on both feet, if you release them at the same time, just having that leverage and that pressure on that front foot when it's cocked up like that is gonna help you get that flip. And you're gonna see here, just from me sitting there static, my cranks flip way harder when I have them in the cocked position or the snappy position. And another tip that's really gonna help you get that flip that a lot of people do to snap their flips harder is the curve in. So with this one, you're gonna wanna ride straight and then when you're half a rev away from the takeoff, you're gonna wanna turn just a little bit into your front foot. Because you're on that angle and you're kinda over top of your front foot like that, it's gonna help you snap through your pedals and get the flip. Like I said, make sure you're curving into your front foot. So if your right foot is the foot leading, you're gonna wanna curve into your right. If your left foot is the foot that's leading, you're gonna wanna curve into the left a little bit. So if you're having trouble actually flipping the cranks, try these strategies and tips and maybe experiment with your zero plants again. Now, another really common problem that I personally ran into a lot when I was learning my first crank flips was too much drag. So you're riding into your crank flips and that front foot that's kicking the cranks is just stuck right to the pedals. You're either doing a quarter of a rev or you're doing a half a rev but you can't get that full rotation so for this one you're just gonna have to use a change in technique so the problem here is that you're pushing too hard and you're pushing straight down through the pedal as opposed to pushing down and out or maybe even just focus on pushing out entirely and snapping your front foot out so if you can get a friend to watch you or maybe you could record yourself doing no footers you can kind of see where you're going wrong so with your no footers you want to make sure that you're not lifting your feet directly up and down and you're more so kicking your feet out to the side. If you're doing that a lot and your legs are coming straight up as opposed to coming out, I would highly recommend going back to no footers and experimenting with that and slowly trying to get your legs out as opposed to going straight up. Otherwise, you're gonna have trouble kicking the cranks down and out because you're used to this kind of like down and up or up and down sort of motion. And now that I've shared with you guys the techniques for the crank flip, and also address the two most common problems I've seen with the crank flip, I'm gonna leave you with my final tip. And this tip is just to say that learning crank flips and learning most tricks in unicycling or skateboarding or BMX or whatever is a mental game. So for this one, if you're having trouble committing to the crank flip, just go back to these prerequisite tricks and really master them and hone them in because it's just about confidence and just kind of going for it too. Try to be as confident as you can and know that there's been tons and tons and tons of people 
who have been stuck at this exact same moment. Well, anyways, guys, it's definitely not going to be easy, but it's going to be a lot easier than you think. Good luck with your crank flipping, guys. I hope this tutorial really helps, and I hope to see you in next week's video. Peace.